Hello everybody, my name is Desuko, tuning in from my new dorm room. It's wacky, it's weird, but speaking of weird, segue, I'm reviewing, doing a little overview of this thing, the One Arrow. This is an original design by clone manufacturer The One. The arrow weighs in at 3.4 ounces, making it lighter than the knot, which is kind of strange, but I like lighter balisongs. So like, handles are listed as 25 centimeters, but in useful terms, that's 9.8 inches. And I got it in this red, but it also comes in blue, black, and silver. It runs on bushings surprisingly and has this really weird floating washer system and the pivots are weird because inside of it they're like d-shaped which kind of like helps with you know tolerances but doesn't really help with tolerances in terms of flipping it's strange it's definitely not something standard like the kraken or like the antarctic or anything um the balance it's blade biased like a lot you can just see if i hold it up yeah the steel blade, like, takes down the aluminum handles super fast, so that's definitely something to look out for if you're getting it. I would not recommend this as a first ballot song. I got mine for $20 at the time of the listing, but now that listing is gone and it's more expensive, so I don't know what the deal with that is. Clone manufactured ballot songs are always widely varying in price, which is kind of weird. Aside from the price, I have quite the story to tell with this thing. When I bought it, I was still in high school. When I received it, the summer was almost done and I was going out to college in a few months. The shipping took ages. It must have gotten stuck in customs, the package got lost or something, I don't know. I literally had to message the store that I bought it from and tell them this, And but they sent out a new one free of charge, so that's pretty cool. It did arrive, but overall it literally took, like, over half a year to get to my house. So that was kind of wacky, but for like, for, for the price that I got it for, I don't really care. The balance of this has really made me think about like, how the Balasong community views Balasongs that are different. Like the Prisma right now, one of the most popular Balasongs on the market currently, is slightly blade biased. And usually people hear blade bias and they're like, Oh no, it's so bad, it has to be neutral, it has to be handle biased. But honestly, it's fun. Now, for people looking for a more standard flipping experience, this is definitely not the battle song for you. But it's fun, it's weird, it's light, it's ridiculously blade biased. But I think that's what makes it so intriguing. The battle song community is like constantly innovating, you know, someone saying, Oh, I'm gonna make a battle song out of plastic, like 10 years ago would be like, what the hell is wrong with you? Now we have squid even doing stuff like the swordfish coming out soon, it's all aluminum, which is definitely not standard by any means, yet it's still good. It's still fun, and things like the zipper, the tape flipper, they, they're they both not exactly standard balisongs, yet people like them because they're fun, they have a good price and the value that they come with. Even though that this is a product by a clone manufacturer, I think that it's cool. Like. Certainly stuff like a Kraken clone or a Tsunami clone or like something like that would be loads more standard than this. This is an original design. It has its own unique weight profile, its own unique balance. The grip on it is great. The design I think looks sick, minus the blade being ridiculously large. I, I like it. I don't know why I like it, but I do. Everything should tell me not to like this. It has play. It has tap, it has wacky balance, it's ridiculously light, but I have fun with it, and I enjoy it. And honestly, I think that, that speaks volumes. Because really, the reason why we're here, the reason why we're in this hobby, is to have fun. And this is definitely a sign. And my experience with this ballad song has definitely further dug that point into my brain. Because at the end of the day, if you're not having fun and worrying about all the specificities and like, Speci that's not a word. All the specifications and like standards and stuff. I don't think you really get a chance to try more unique ballast songs. So yeah, it's weird. Weird isn't always bad. Weird is good.
I guess. Tell me what you think about that in the comments. Um, remember to subscribe. Enter my giveaway if it's still up. I don't know if it is or not. If not, I'll put the put it on screen. But um, yeah. This video was kind of a mess, kind of strange. First video recorded in the new area, so it's a bit strange, but, you know, whatever. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, etc. I don't have much longer to record an outro before my roommate gets back, but thank you for watching. Goodbye.